Yo, what's good YouTube? My name is Ransom here with a real quick tutorial. I want to show you guys a quick overview of SinPlant 2 and mainly just the front interface of how you can use that and create your own sounds from scratch, uh, not having to use any samples. I will be going more in depth with the Geno patch on the SinPlant 2, so do subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, but this one is just mainly to create unique sounds from the main menu here. So hope you enjoy. There's some really cool things you can do in SinPlant 2, but of course I'm gonna keep it simple for this tutorial. So on the outside of this ring here, I'm gonna start on the outside of the circle. We got tuning, effect, volume, release, and atonality. So starting with tuning, that's pretty self-explanatory. Of course, it's just gonna tune your pitch or your patch up or down. I like to keep that at zero. Effect is mainly just reverb and panning. So if you turn the effect up, you're gonna get more reverb and more stereo signal. If you turn it down, you're gonna get more of a mono signal and a drier signal. Okay, I'm gonna leave that at zero. Volume, self-explanatory. There is this little bulb mode and it's a little more advanced. I'm not gonna get into it now, but you can switch it to different modes. And, uh, but yeah, for now I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. It's a little more advanced. Next up we have release. That is how long um, of a release your uh, synth is gonna have. That's how long it's gonna hold out, of course, self-explanatory. If you want a pad or something like that, you're probably gonna want it a longer release. If you want like a pluck, or maybe you're like a lead or a pluck or something, you might want it shorter. So that's kind of neat. I like it about, uh, well, about one second is good there. And atonality. This one is a little um, interesting. It affects quite a bit of parameters that I'm not entirely sure with. I'm sure they have something on their website that explains it more. Basically, when you turn this up, you're going to get way more modulation and effect, effect parameters kind of going crazy. Once you get past about 50%, it is going to start detuning your sound. So if you're looking for like a, something you can play chords or you know something that's in tune, uh, with the other stuff, you might want to keep the atonality down, uh, you know, below 20% or so, somewhere in that area, because it will start to detune your sound, which might not sound good with the other stuff. But either way, that is the outside of the ring there. Now on the inside here, we have, of course, a seed, and we have these little sprouts uh, coming out of that seed. So what you can do is right-click on that seed there, and you can click on um, New Random Seed. And what that's going to do um, is give you a new sound, a new um, patch to start working with. It's going to completely randomize it, and you have a unique patch to start with on your own. So let's hear what we got. So that's kind of interesting. Now let's go ahead and right-click and do new random seed again, see if we can get something different or cooler. Okay, so that's kind of a cool sound, maybe like a, a digital guitar or something. So let's say we like that sound. Now we can come in here to the seeds and each note here on the outside, you know, C through, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all those notes there have their own unique sound. So what I mean by that is they each have their own unique seed. And what that means is if I, if I let's say I grab G here and I come down and I grab this seed from G and you start pulling it up here, you can hear it's changing. Now you want to keep clicking on the seed to kind of hear um, what changes has been made to it. So that's what it sounds like now. If I pull it up more, it's getting a little crazier. Right, so I'm going to pull it back here a little bit. And let's say, oh, I like that sound a lot more. That just sounds way cooler, you know. So what you can do is right click on that and click clone selected branch. What that's going to do is copy all the other notes here to match that sound so they're not all different. Right? So F sharp, let's just say for example, when I mean they're all individual as well, they each have their own sound. So if I take F sharp here and drag it up and make it sound completely different, right? Now if I play all these notes here, F sharp is gonna be different because I just changed it here in the in SinPlant. So let's hear it. And this is F sharp. 
right? So now with that being said, you can come in here, let's say G, you can change the G sound a little bit, you can change this a little bit. So now when you come around and you play, they're all gonna have their own unique timbre. So you can kind of get cool things with that, but of course, if you want to keep everything unified and the same, you can just right click on one and click um, clone selected branch and that will unify them all to be the same. So that's kind of the seeds. Um, I just kind of get a quick overview of that. Now, on also on the center here, there's in the bigger seed, you can also see there is a um, mod wheel. It's kind of a dotted circle. If you select that and you start dragging it outward, you're gonna start getting more modulation, randomly modulated, um, range, randomly affected um, effects, I guess you could say. But yeah, so if, I'm just gonna start pulling this out. I'm gonna hit the note here and start pulling this out and we can see what it sounds like. So as you can hear, you get some really cool effects with it. Um, definitely just experiment. Those are kind of the main things I wanted to show you guys today. I didn't want to get too in depth with it, but I will be getting much more in depth with it in the future with the bulb mode, with the poly and the wheel and the velocity down here, as well as the DNA and the genome patch. So do subscribe and I will be back with more tutorials in Synplant 2. Hope you all are having a great day. Peace.